This is the 11th time I've arrested you this year. What's it gonna take, huh? You want them to be addicts like you? You want your daughter turning tricks? Is that what you want? Hmm. Get her out of my face. The change didn't ease my pain, left me feeling ashamed. Out in the rain, can't explain the pain. How I stay sane, don't like the game. Will it ever change? to make up tea coming here. I just want you to do one favor for me. Protect mom while she's away and don't let nothing bad happen to her. Amen. This was the game plan we follow each and every day. And it took a toll on the family. It was not all roses moving in with grandma. Whether at home or school, bullies always picked on me and my brother from the moment we moved in. And with Melanie now being gone and hanging with their friends, the job of protecting Martin was mine. Hey, you that our ball. This is my ball. Grandma always says, if one of us got into a fight, we all better fight or face serious consequences. The battle for peace was on and we were ready to go to war. your heart. Thank you, Mama. Home. <laughs> Gifts! <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. Our 
Morgan. Tommy. Mom, do you need help getting the rest of the stuff? Um, that's it. Psst, you're kidding. Seriously? <laughs> that's what I have. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Years went by, and my mom was in and out of our lives. Even though there were gangs and other things going around me, basketball was a way to keep my thoughts from straying. Not only did it give me something to do, but it gave me a little discipline. Not to mention it was good. I need to introduce y'all to. His name is Coach Levi from Mustang High, and he's got something he wants to talk to you about. It'll be a great opportunity for most of you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. How you doing? Hey, guys, great game out there. Seriously, give yourself a hand. Yeah. Awesome job. Awesome job. As your coach told you, my name is Coach Levi. Now, Coach P and I would like to extend the invitation to those of you that are interested to join us at Mustang High School next year, provided you pass the entrance exam. Now, many of our students go on to attend college on four-year Division I athletic scholarships. That's right, four years, a full ride. Now, I will let your coach know about the testing dates. So hit the books, all right? Because you've got great athletics. We just need to cover those academics, all right? All right, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you next year at Mustang High School. All right. Yeah! Guess what? Ma, the coach from Mustang High wants me to play for him. Ma, I want to go to Mustang High. It's a good school. That night, I decided I was going to do whatever it took to get into Mustang High. I don't know how, but I'm going to. First item on the agenda, raise my academic performance and work on my attitude. The years weren't easy. This was the game plan we followed each and every day. Come on, Tommy. When you get that rebound, don't bring it down. Keep it above your head. Let's go. to present the recipient of this year's Colorado Youth Citizenship Award. And that award goes to Mr. Tommy Watson. Not having family here for the highest district award was devastating. Try home. Good job. Stay focused, pay attention. Mr. Watson, congratulations. Welcome to the honor roll. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Jesus. Ma. Austin, hi. Ain't that a white school? Black people go there too. Hmm. All athletes, I bet. Ma, they said I could get a four-year scholarship to college. <laughs> Boy, you ain't getting no scholarship to college. And you ain't going to school with all them white folks out there. They don't want you out there with them no damn way. And we sure ain't about to be paying no money for you just to go to school. Faith, greed, faith, lies, love, die. Shoplifting. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> Heard you got into Mustang High. Yeah, but I can't go. Says who? Says everybody, Grandma. Well, from the looks of it, y'all's mama's gonna be gone for quite some time. You gotta get on with your life and your dreams. Really? Thank you. Don't thank me yet. It's my time. Ain't gonna stop me. You never stop me. I'm a rising. I'm a rising up. Gonna take what's my respect. It's my time. Ain't gonna stop me. You never stop me. I'm a rising. I'm a rising up. I want you to come out here and do well. You here? Yes, ma'am. I want you to enjoy every minute of this place. You got that? Yes, ma'am. Now, will my boy be able to graduate from this here school? I'm sure he'll graduate if he works his butt off. Well, now, how do you reckon we're going to be able to pay all these thousands of dollars for his school? Well, uh, the school offers a scholarship that covers half his tuition. Now, you can pay for the other half out of pocket, or he can work here at the school to cover the other half. Work? Well, what kind of work can he do? Boy? You gotta use the toilet or something? No, ma'am. Go on. Well, students work here in the cafeteria during the school year, or they can work here on the grounds 
Then summertime. Summer? Well, it's summer now. Tommy will start today. Today? Did I start it? Here. I'll see you when you get home. All right, here we go. In my nice clothes? That's what your grandma said. Your grandmother like her, you're gonna do just fine here. Turned things around after that game and became one of the top players in the nation. By the end of the season, our football team was one of the top teams in the nation, and I was one of the top players in America. Look at that crackhead over there. You better watch it. They'll steal your sweater, drop trap, just get money to buy some crack. Crazy, that's what they do all day. Oh, come on, please, sugar bear, please. I just need something. Come on, sugar bear, please. Mel? No? I'm busy. Melino, it's me, Tommy. 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 How have you been? I've been good. How have I been? How have you been? I've been coming okay. You know, here to there. But I heard you doing that football thing with the Mustang High. Yeah, yeah, Mustang High. I've been okay. I'm so proud of you. Can you just give me a second, please? Just give me a second. Give me a second. What's been going on with you? Me, me and Martin have been at Grandma Luisa's. You should move in with her. You know I can't do that. Look at me, I can't do that. That's good for you and Martin, but not me. I'm so proud of you. Whatever. Speaking of Grandma Luisa, I, I better get home. She's gonna be all over me. All right, but listen, you're safe out here, okay? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I'll see you later. Tommy. Hey, Mom. Have a seat, son. What's up? Listen, Mama can no longer take care of herself. So during the nighttime, I'm going to need you and Martin to be responsible, making sure that she doesn't wander off down the streets. And during the daytime, my friend Evelyn, she's going to come and sit with her until y'all get home.
want to. That's right. That's right. East side, right, right there. Night time, homie. Oh. 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 Y'all get up out of here with that stuff. Philly. Philly food. Philly. Uh, West side. You know what this guy looks like? Short, snarky. He got a scar on his face. All right, just chill out, chill out, and don't move, all right? All right? <laughs> You know that point? Yeah, what about him? Where you stay at? His girl stays somewhere around here and a couple of his friends on Pritchard Avenue. I went to a party last weekend. What's her apartment? Second floor on the left. What? I'll take a look. Tommy! Tommy! Let's go, man. I just seen that dude Philly down the street. Let's go. Hey, give me the gun. For what? We're going to fight, not kill somebody. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's go. Where's Philly at? He's not here. Oh, he did that to you? He's the one that pointed out his grandma's house. What you want? Yeah, yeah I see you. Right. Yeah, trying to do. Thought so. Right. Pardon the interruption. I need Tommy Watson to the office, please. Tommy Watson to the office. Thank you. Are you Tommy Watson? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have a call for you on that one, sweetie. Thanks. Hello? Tommy, this is Melanie. Hey, man, what's up? Those boys Martin's been having problems with tried to jump him again today in school. Martin brought a gun to school with him and tried to shoot them. He's now in custody of the Denver police. Wait, wait, Mel, are, are you sure? Yes, it's been the breaking story on TV all morning. Hello? <laughs> Mr. Watson, you've had the opportunity to change your life. You've been under the supervision of this court previously. This is a very serious offense, an offense using a gun. You're not even old enough to own a gun. Because of this, Mr. Martin Watson, the court hereby commits you to the Department of Juvenile Justice for the state of Colorado to a term of five years in the juvenile detention center they designate. I sincerely hope you take advantage of this opportunity, Mr. Watson. You still have the chance to turn your life around. This is the judgment of the court.
And just like that, an eviction notice. Texas Tech wishes you and your family an enjoyable year. Got no family. Proud of you. Thanks. You got a lot more work in the classroom to solidify this deal, alright? Yes, sir. Can you believe you'd ever see this day? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Mustang High for this wonderful occasion. We are here to celebrate Tommy Watson, one of the greatest football players who has walked the halls of Mustang High. This is an important day, Tommy, and we are so proud of you. You worked very hard for this moment, and we wish you the best of luck. Tommy? I decided to further my education at the University of Minnesota. I'd like to say thank you to Principal Jordan and Coach Levi and uh, all the other coaches here at Mustang High. I'd especially like to say thank you to my family and friends, especially Grandma Louise, who supported me through the hard times here at Mustang High. Now, the years weren't easy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, that's my boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But with God's help, I made it here to this day. And I'd like to thank you all. my education to build my doubt found out school could end my drought college what's that all about little did i know at the time what i thought buried me in my decline was giving me strength and growing my mind allowing me to stand the test of time all of the years of kids laughing has now paved the way for people asking how's your life been so long lasting the pain is now feel my passion education and sports should be my beam and light Guiding my life, trying to stay tight. Hustling and grinding with all my might. Holding on my dreams till daylight. My message to you on your darkest night. There's a lesson to learn. You'll be alright. Thank God above and keep your fists tight. But whatever you do, keep up the fight. Resilience is all about your season. Knowing your life has purpose and a reason. Now that you know, go get some. Yours truly, Dr. Watson. My